got some, you know, <laughs> some stuff going on there. You know, for a bunch of old codgers. You know. <laughs> you know. Do we have a good Doggy Mountain breakdown is the question. We can do it again. We can do these a few times, you know. Well, let's do, let's do that one you more know, time. Few, yeah. get that one. <laughs> I'm not even warmed up yet. Man. We're getting there. Compared to what we could do. I know. Let's, if you got go, the time, yeah. yeah. Go, go sit under a tree for about five hours and then come back. <laughs> 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 See what tired old man sound like. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> and what year did, did you tell you? them the, how... How I first came to know know about you? I don't think so. I don't say that. He, uh, he uh, hold forth. I, I had begun my entrepreneurial uh, record producing career, and a, a friend of mine and, uh, and and myself, we we produced a, a, some bluegrass music, and we put out a record of Frank Wakefield on the Silver Bell label. It was a 45, and we advertised in, in Sing Out magazine. The advertisement was kind of a little raunchy for Sing Out, but it said, the balls are back in bluegrass. <laughs> and they printed it. <laughs> and they printed it, and yeah. <clears throat> the first order came in. This guy that we thought had a really funny name. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Trishka. From the Syracuse. Yeah, he bought the first one. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah. And I still have that single. Too much, man. I still have about 500 of them. Yeah. <laughs> no, no I, have, I have a few somewhere. No, maybe I don't have that one. I've got a bunch of New York That's Ramble. I should find one and send it to you. Yeah. You got that one? The, I the should. Winnie Winston, that was really fast. Yeah, Winnie, that was great. Well, yeah, yeah. New York Ramble. Win, Winnie, man. He was something else. He was really something. I just dug up an old uh, a tape of a set we did at Gertie's. Really? And As the New York on, He's on fire, man, with Jody. Yeah. yeah. Well, that. Yeah. Well, and, uh, There's all kinds of stuff. Fincastle. You guys at Fincastle. Really? We played there? Yeah, I've got pictures of you guys no there. No kidding, you do. Wow. Yeah. Man. I'll have to get those to you. That'd be great, man. Yeah. Wow. I've got them somewhere. Yes. They're somewhere in the house. I'll find them now. And you guys were, you know, I mean, it was like the meeting of the North and the South. You know, Ralph Rinsler was there, Peter wow, was yeah. there, you know. Yeah. Wow. And, then and was, you were there, too. I was there, too. But I didn't know you then, right? Or, no, uh, or I did? no, I don't think so. But when did I see you with Red Allen? I saw you. I that, taped a gig of you playing with Red 66. Allen. 66. 66. You okay. taped one? Yeah. You got the tape? It's maybe somewhere. Yeah. So that's another thing. Live tapes. Man. Yeah. I got tons of live tapes. Hot Rise just sent us, a, Pete Wernick just sent us a, a show from 1986 we're going to put up. Oh, yeah? yeah? I remember seeing <laughs> Jimmy Martin in it was, 68 or something. He was trying to sell us a, a friend of mine. Myself went into some kind of redneck bar north of Syracuse, in the middle of nowhere, Baldwinsville, New York, or something. Walking, we went there, went there to see Jimmy Martin. We're walking along the bar, and uh, Jimmy's not there. We go out and back, and he's there with the bus. But you know, walking along the bar, local neighborhood bar, we had to like tear down to hear. Yeah, wow. like it was yeah. a good moment. <laughs> we get there, and Jimmy was like, he loved us. He was like, man, I love you guys. I don't like those guys, and they're like your your type. Now I've got this Mickey Mouse wristwatch I want to sell you. It's like a pre-war. He was like a 1937 Mickey Mouse wristwatch. Wow. You know, seventy-five dollars. He wanted to sell it to us for seventy-five dollars. I should have done it. He didn't have the spare change though. Yeah, Who had him sign it. it. First time I went to I heard Jimmy Martin was in a bar like that. Mm -hmm. It was a place called the Coral Bar in West Patterson, New Jersey. Wow. And this was probably around '63, or six, might have been '62. And. Uh, Three guys came out on stage and started to play, and the guitar player didn't look like Jimmy Martin. And uh, they just a, ba a, ba a bass player, a banjo, the banjo player, and the, this guitar player. And they played my little Georgia Rose, and and it was great. But afterwards, the guy takes off the guitar. He says, "Now the star," of the, and he introduces Jimmy Martin. And that was Paul Williams. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. And it wasn't, I'd been hearing him on uh, Wheeling, West Virginia. I had a little radio that it was held together with rubber bands <laughs> in my basement in Passaic, New Jersey. And I used to be able to tune in those at Saturday night on Wheeling. Yeah. And uh, I didn't know, I didn't know what J.D. Crow looked like. This guy sounded real good. It was Bill Emerson's first gig. Wow. With Jimmy Martin. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He tried to sell me an F4 mandolin. <laughs> and, and I got them all to sign my Jimmy Martin songbook, and it was, we had to walk home. We stayed there so late to bust, you know. We walked, 
like about four miles home. What we did for bluegrass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we, um, uh, what, what story was I just thinking of? Oh, oh, a friend of mine, same guy that I went with to see Jimmy Martin, he had a bluegrass VW where the, the radio it's in Syracuse, New York. Uh-huh. Wintertime, you could pick up the Opry yeah. and the and wheeling. Wow. Jamboree. And you know, we drive outside of Syracuse, you know, on a cold, you know, like ten below zero or something. Yeah, just to, to listen to the, yeah. the Opry. And then, wow. you know, now here he is, Bill Carlisle and all the oh, Carlisles. Yeah. And you've been waiting for two hours. Yeah. You know? I taped a lot. I taped this stuff on my I had my little microphone there. Yeah. When That's I was the, home, I would tape it for, I, I yeah. taped the first night Richard Green played with Monroe. Too much. Yeah. Well, you know, now this stuff is history. You know? I know. You know, back then it was just, you know. It was just what was And the only way you could get it, really. Yeah. Yeah. No, I got a hold of this. Lamar's wife taped oh, all wow. the Opry shows, so I have some oh, wow. pretty good tape of yeah. all that stuff from, yeah. you know, taped from Nashville. Yeah, Lamar and so taped a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Doggy you Mountain? You Doggy, Doggy Mountain? Doggy Mountain, sure, yeah. Yeah. yeah.